Hi everyone, this is me Ellie from X-Express Themes and this is the video tutorial for Enlighten Theme where I'm going to show you how you can configure your footer section. So this is the demo site of our Enlighten Theme and as you can see on the footer section, we have this three column with the contents here like with this quick contact info, our logo and its small description with social media icons along with recent news and everything so I'm gonna be showing you how you can have this in your site as well so to do this let's log into our WordPress dashboard here you need to go to appearance and then click on widget since that section footer section is to be configured from widget so let us go there here you will find footer area 1 2 and 3 where, simil where respectively you have to put your needed widgets there. So in footer area 1, I'm going to be showing you how to make uh, your footer area exactly as in our demo site. So I'm going to place the widgets that we have used in our demo. For footer area 1, we have used text widget. We can simply click it and choose the widget area click on add and you can put the title if you want to or not or then you need to put your content here as you can see we have a logo here and the description for the description you can just put the uh, simple text and for this you need to put a small code actually so I have it here I'm just going to copy it and paste it here. So this is a simple code that you have to use. You have to use this image source and here put the image source. So I'll show you how you can get this URL. I'm going to put this code in my description box as well so you can check on it. To put the image that you require there, we need to go to media and click on library. Or if you want to add your um, separate image, then you can just go to uh, add new and add your image. Well, I'm going to get my logo to show there. So let's go here. And here you will find URL. You just need to copy this URL. And uh, paste it here. Now after that you can just put your text as in like this and close your code. Then after this you need to save and let's close it. Now as it is saved let us go to our front end and see how will that appear. And if you don't want your any images or then you can just uh, put your text. It's a simple text and it will show here. So this is how it will show your logo as we have put our logo URL here and your content. Next thing that we have in our demo site is the social media icon. So if you want this also, then I'll show you how you can do that. First, for this icon, you will need to install all the plugins that we have recommended you with this theme. Whose detail you can also check in our documentation here in require plugin. Here we have suggested social icon express social icon plugin pause you need to install that plugin then you will get this tab here so let us configure a one icon set for our footer you just need to click on add new set put your icon set name i'm keeping footer icon then you can choose icon set type like icon individually or from available themes. So for a quick configuration, I'm going to choose from available themes. And you can choose the display of what kind of a layout you want there. So I'm going to display this one. And do all the settings as per your requirement. And then choose the icons that you want to show there. If I want my Facebook here, then you can define its icon width. I'm gonna just use a recommended size. 
you need to put your link here I'm gonna put just any link so I'm gonna just copy this link you can put your social uh, sorry your Facebook URL and then you can make other changes as well and next thing I want to show is Google Plus so I'm gonna just put the size of my icon and put the link here I'm just gonna put hash and then for Instagram as well you can configure in detail and uh, if you want to configure better then you can have its video tutorial whose link I'm gonna add in description box as well or you can get its documentation from our site here in plugins you can you can go and check for so access for a social icon and then you will get its documentation in a better way so these are the three icons I'm gonna add and then click on save icon set now as you can see my icon set is saved so let's again go to widget now I'm gonna add access press social icon widget in my footer area one you can put your title and then choose the icon set well I think I have to refresh this page all right now here is the icon set we have made for footer and let's save it now let's go to our front end and refresh our page and let's see how will this show so your footer area will show with social icons as well so the next footer area to I'm going to show you how it is configured that is recent news so to do this you need to go to widgets again let me close this one and in footer area 2 you have to put recent news this enlightened recent news plugin sorry widget here I'm just gonna select it and select the widget area and add it here you can put your recent news title And then you need to choose a category uh, that you want uh, your to show that. For here, I have made a recent news category, so I'm, cho I'm just going to choose it. Or you can choose any category you want to show there. Then you can choose the post to display. I'm going to choose two post to display, and you can also define excerpt content, like the amount of text you want of each post, since you don't want all the contents to show that. So I'm going to set the excerpt content. It's the number of characters you are to show. So I'm just going to put 21. And you can hide your image if you don't want to show. So then click on save. Now that it is saved, let's again go to our front end and refresh our page. Now let us check how this will appear. So it will appear as such. That is the recent news. I like this. And let me also show you how it will show when we check this hide image. It will show with image so you can choose any kind of a layout and show there. So for the footer area 3, let us check what we have in our demo site. We have this quick contact info. If you want this widget in your footer area, then I'm going to show you how you can do that. So for this, you need to uh, take enlightened footer info widget on your footer area 3 and click on add widget. Here you can put your info title. For me, it's... Uh, quick info you can put your location of your company or such I'm just gonna put my company's location then put your phone number your fax I'm just putting anything and then your email address And then click on save and let us close this and let us go to our front end and refresh our front end again 
So you, the changes are been made and this is how your quick info footer area 3 will appear as. So this is exactly as in our demo site if you will see in our demo site here. So you can uh, make any changes as you want as per the widgets that we have provided you. You can use uh, any widgets apart from these widgets that we have used. You can use your imagination and creativity to make your footer area much better than ours if you want to. So this is how your footer area is configured. So I hope this video is helpful to you in configuring that part of the section and make your and show your some content or info to your website viewers and if you have any confusion regarding the process that i have shown you in this video tutorial then you will always have this written documentation in our site you can just go to the theme detail page of enlightened and then you will find this documentation here through this link will take you to this page where we have all the configuration process here you can see footer section settings and you will be shown all the process of doing so like this so thank you very much for watching this video uh, do comment on the comment section if you have any comments for this video take care